I'm Jordan. I'm Anthony. And we're being, we're being human. human. <laughs> this, and this is, is local, local band Smokeout. Smoke yeah. uh, for some reason, my camera is not. Looks kind of strange, so hold on one second. It's all good. There you go. Dude, how are you today? I appreciate you joining, man. I'm good, man. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and you, we've got a new song coming out, coming out later today, right? Something that's uh, that's that's special we, to you. Can you can we talk about it? Let's go. Um, yeah, actually, it was supposed to be at midnight, but uh, it looks like it's at nine p.m. <laughs> so it's it's nine p.m. somewhere. So it's it's where we we can we can sneak in it and spin it. But uh, before we do jam it, how did the the collab with with uh, Melissa, who's joining us here in a little bit? How did how did the collab with that with her come about? You know, um, after, you know, when Jordan passed, I had a bunch of people kind of reach out and just, uh, you know, they were so kind of caring. They just reached out to check in and see how I'm doing. And uh, she was one of them. And I talked about the song with her. And, you know, here we are months later and it's come out. <laughs> so she was somewhat close to Jordan. She was, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, well, I'll, I'll be sure to ask her about that, too. But um, so tell me, tell me about Hollow when you when you and Jordan were were writing and working on the song. Um, can you tell me about any of the writing experience, some of the good times during that session? Yeah, actually, it's funny enough. Um, he hadn't been to my new spot yet. Uh, he got here at like six in the morning. He crashed out, and then that next day, we started writing because he had uh, he had uh, you know, we had just shortly. Like a couple weeks before that, you know, talked about it. Um, you know, it's funny enough. The uh, when you interviewed him about it, he uh, he called me earlier that day. He was like, "Hey, we're doing watch out." I'm like, "Oh, we are <laughs> cool." <laughs> so it was a surprise on me as well. But um, he ended up coming out here, and so wait, he just called you up out of the blue and was like, "We're bringing it back," just out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, it was. I was just like, oh, man, hello, it's been a long while. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, watch out, it is. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Very cool. Right. I know. So random, but so cool. So so then... But, uh, uh, oh, yeah. Um, so, you know, when we were sitting here, I have my own little spot at home now. So we were sitting and just riding and just trying to have some fun with it. And uh, I remember... I was sitting there at the computer while he's recording his vocals and he just hit that line with hollow so hard. And I was just like, oh, that's, so good. that's gotta be it. <laughs> so was, it would have been wash out. Was this, uh, like, did you have a bunch of like demo stuff just laying around in case this phone call came? Or was this something that you just kind of whipped up together on the spot? And then he's like, I got the lyrics. I got something for this one. So, you know, I didn't expect the call, but it was kind of funny because, uh, you know, over the years, I've always kind of sent Jordan back and forth music and, you know, he'd check it out, whether he could respond right away or not. But I guess uh, when I was sending him this stuff, he was liking it. And he was uh, he was into it. It's like, this is going to be watch out stuff. Hell yeah. Very cool. And uh, <laughs> I guess we'll go ahead and play it real quick before Melissa joins. Um, if you want to forward her the link in like five or six minutes or so. That sure. Should, yeah, that should probably you. do it. But uh, okay, let me see. It is. Make sure, I did send it to her, but okay, she's good. Oops. I'm just grabbing the link that you sent, which is right here. Okay. This comes out later tonight. It's called Hollow, and it's gonna tonight, be. 90. It's it's on the Watch Out There's Ghost Spotify and all that. It won't. Um, I'll have to. It's gonna have our names unlisted for the artists. Okay, so look up Jordan Blake, Melissa Marie, and Richie. Mm -hmm. Okay, I gotcha. It'll be up there. Here we go. I can't survive here without you. You left your mark, you left scars on my heart. Dark 
thinking it is hollow. And she's she's in she's ready to go too. So, but listen, we can't oh, see you, we, we can't hear you, but uh, we'll give you a second to get that set up. We're actually jamming the song right now, so you got time to. Dang. you allow me to love you just the way you are ladies and gentlemen melissa marie of millionaires in the building thank you so much for (laughs) for joining us We're, we're just checking out the song right now uh, is it okay if we continue jamming before we rattle off some some questions to you, Melissa? Oh, please do. Yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure I like figure this out correctly beforehand. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're, you're good. <laughs> we so can hear you. We can see you. Yeah, everything. Everything's golden. Everything's golden. I did it. Okay. Good. You got it. <laughs> yeah. so much so far. Hell yeah, and we'll do we'll do the finale of it in, in just a second, but uh Melissa, how how close were you to to Jordan Blake? I know you guys got to tour once in a while in the past, but how close were you guys? We were pretty close. I mean, like especially towards the like you know, and obviously past, but like we were really in touch. We were planning on doing like he want he told me about like uh, bringing back Watch Out There's Ghosts, like the whole like thing, and like even kind of trying to rebuild that same tour just because everything's kind of that come kind of coming back kind of thing, I guess, but. But I was, I talked to him, like, I think just, like, even, like, a week before he did pass away. So, like, I mean, just, we'd be on the phone, and, like, even my boyfriend and him, like, really got along on the phone, too. It's, yeah. Pretty close, sadly enough. And then, like, Jack, too. I want to shout out to Jack, because, like, writing this song, you know, that um, Richie put together, though, for sure, you know, but, like, um, yeah, it was obviously like for her. So like after he did pass, and when I was writing the lyrics, I think I, you know, I was with Felix actually. Shout out to Felix too. Yeah, everything. But but um, but <laughs> when I was in the studio doing it, I um, I was like trying to think of like what maybe he would want to like or like Jack would say too, you know, kind of thing. Because she was, she was a big part of his life. He loved her, so you know. Do you have any yeah, any uh, fun interaction stories or or just good memories that you can share with us? Something that makes you laugh. Oh my god, yeah, no, he well, he's fun. he was fun in general. It's weird to say, you know, past tense, but you know what I mean. But he is such a fun guy. He, um, this is like fifteen years ago, like way past. Like I've known this yeah, Jordan for like ever, and like. Um, we were recording at the same studio that um, I actually recorded 
like a, a millionaire song out like alcohol and he was working with the same producer and everything and it was with for watch out and he he was this one day he was just like um we had to switch off like times or whatever but they were they had they drove down from like up north you know like you know to la to record so they were staying just like on the ground like in you know like just just in the whatever like the apartment and uh, where we were all recording of course back in the day and he was just like you know we had a couple of drinks or whatever and he was just like singing but he would just get his like he would get like like just like play music or just sing just on his own and it was just so like fun you know that's things cool. are so different you know Always singing. 15 <laughs> So, so Richie, did you did you contact Melissa to get on this song, or was it vice versa when when Melissa you heard that there was more material in the works? You know, I'm actually struggling to remember, Melissa. Did you? <laughs> I don't remember. So, so I had talked to Jordan. No matter what, like, like we were gonna do a song. You know what I mean? And then. He was like, oh, like, you know, I'm starting Watch Out. There's Ghosts back. I was like, okay, bro, because we never did a song either with, like, Skylight Drive or, you know, or Watch Out. We just toured kind of thing or festival aspect. And then when everything, like, came to be, you know, I was I was talking to Richie, cause, you know, just because I was talking to Jordan, like, like I said, the week before <laughs> about, like, you know, doing the song and, like, figuring it out. And then it, it just kind of came to fruition, I guess, you <laughs> know that's cool. Well, I'm excited. Right. I'm excited that it comes out later tonight. Let's let's jam the finale, the finale of it real quick. Let's do love it. You, <laughs> I love you. If if it'll let me, it did not. Okay. Oh, it yeah. did not. We have a Google Drive error. Let's see. Whoops. <laughs> Dang, it came out so good. It came out so good, for real. Yeah, that's all. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. Melissa, do you mind if I ask you one or two millionaire questions? Oh, go ahead. I'm I'm cu- me, huh? I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> I'm, crying. No, I'm curious first if, if <laughs> right, we can expect it. a new a new album, album number two in in the near future. Yeah. So the one thing, to, yeah, like right now though, too, like I um, just did the, the the so what festival. You know what I mean? Like, and um, I I wasn't aware of like the reaction that millionaires really did impact. You know what I mean? Just like that whole like realm i guess you know because i was like oh maybe there's gonna be like five people or you know like just take good photos kind of thing just you know what i mean but like and then when yeah when right before like we all walked on stage it was like damn you know so, like, <laughs> like <laughs> oh, yeah. whirlwind there in the heat but yeah i don't know I, I i already have a song like kind of ready to go it's kind of um telling you about it earlier but um like i already have a single kind of coming up but i'll see i think i you know, millionaires is here to stay, here to slay. We'll just say. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, I don't take <laughs> I'm here for it. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just have one. <laughs> I just want to ask you one more question. Was that the, was the so what one the first time that you performed without your sister? Yeah, without yeah either yeah. I mean, well, I do. I mean, I've been doing little like the like the one off shows like the emo nights like the throwback kind of stuff and then. But this one was the first time that, like, I actually had, like, it's it was kind of in a night, like, the nicest way possible. It was nice to step on stage with two girls that actually, like, really, like, wanted to be there and, like, have my back with it. You know what I mean? And not like the, oh, you know, like, no, I can't do this one or blah, blah, blah. But, like, you know, just, you know, just the whole rigmarole of the music industry you know <laughs> well I, i'm personally excited about the 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 new single so please keep us informed we'll definitely yeah. jam it oh i'll send it, it to you guys yeah no for sure <laughs> yeah. that is awesome well uh we that was our couple of questions uh if if you if you have anything oh, yeah. that you'd like to plug or promote you're more than welcome to take the take the stage no for a i mean honestly i'm i mean like i'm just so excited for like our single you know richie and my oh well you know 
watch. <laughs> what yep. you, Richie, what do you say? Do you say it's watch out those ghosts, like Jimmy, or like is it? It's, okay. Or the three of you us. Know, you I know, I want to. I think just due to the nature, I, I think it's just the three of us, you know, it's, it's a different feel right. across yeah. the board. So it's something that we have a lot of different passion and heart to, you know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like that. I just, I'm excited for like the single to come out and it's so soon. You know, we're thinking about like, yeah, like tomorrow. I like, know. But, it's a couple like, hours right? away. <laughs> couple hours away. It's coming. I know. <laughs> so close. Yeah. Well, Melissa, yeah, there's actually, there's a couple people. Okay. Go. No, you go. You go. I, I really, you, stage is yours. <laughs> All right. I appreciate it. Um, actually, there's a few people during the process as well. You know, should have shout out Felix and everything for mixing and mastering the song. And, yeah. uh, you know, yes, Ryan man. Porter, Ryan Rex Rex, you know, he's, uh, he's been a big support. Uh, a couple of people like production that kind of helped me to kind of really get that push and going was like Nick Miller. He gave me so many tips and help during it when Jordan was here. Um, Richie Gomes also, he was another producer friend that actually did the 11 track. He helped me as well. Uh, and then a moment's notice for helping get it out there in the first place, the memorial, which was so nice. They gave up, you know, I uh, saw that. Time that was cool. Their set to let us do it. Right. Yeah. I know. Shout out to Greg and all the boys. They're such sweetheart. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got to shout out yeah, to right? Joey too, though, for sure. Like, I, yeah, like I sent it to Joey the moment, you know what I mean? Like when we got it back, you know, from Felix. Right. Yeah, because even like when, when I was in the studio recording my part, I was like, I don't want to take away too much. Because like Jordan's part, like it is so like, it's so Jordan, you know what I mean? Just like that, that you know, the love behind that. And so I was mm -hmm. like, um, I was kind of crying in the studio for sure. And I was like, I didn't wear makeup that day too. You know what I mean? I was like, no, I can't wear my eyelashes or whatever. You know, and he was like, oh, you know, yeah, but he was like, he was so sweet about it. But he like kind of helped me just like kind of get through it though too. But yeah, yeah, he was, yeah. And then, and I, I, I sent it to Joey though, you know what I mean? Joey's been my boy since day one too. So, you know, Joey from Seattle, but Joey Wilson, but yeah, good old Joseph, you know. We share the same birthday too. So Joey. no matter what's going on, every March 14th, we each call each other, no matter what's going on, just like the <laughs> fucked up or not. I know he's like sober now, but like the, Fucked up or not, just like the hey, like happy birthday, you know? Hell yeah! <laughs> Joey, Joey's yeah, a regular, a regular gonna... around here. We see Joey, we see oh Joey. <laughs> oh, yeah. And lately, Corey too. Every time oh, we yeah. talk to him, Corey pops in also, which is fun. <laughs> yeah. Shout out the boys. Always driving with them. <laughs> For real. Shout out the boys. They're little sweethearts. Oh, yeah. yeah, little sweethearts. Right. For sure. Yeah. We've known each other for way too long. We won't, we won't age me, okay? But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, what's your yeah, what's your most painful most painful tattoo? Because I've always heard like the inner palm area or like inside fingers is oh. the most painful. Oh yeah, that shit's that shit's the worst. Um, so like the hand, I the last one, I even like if you look at like so I have I have my hands done, but like this one, like uh, my friend did uh, Julian. He's actually in the band called Broken Side. But like, I, I think I pulled away because it hurt too much, you know what I mean, recently. But I, the last tattoo I ever got was my, I had my stomach done. That was just, I don't know. The hands are horrible, but that stomach, I don't know. I couldn't, I have the whole one, or like the side, like a banner. You know what I mean? Like okay. Kind of thing. Ugh. I have some of my stomach done and it sucked. It sucked. You say, right, I totally agree. Yeah. <laughs> what was, was like, what's your, what's your worst? Um, like the neck or the, the I don't know if you can see this, but like the inside of like my breastplate area where there's no there's no oh, right there's there. no oh. meat for a dude right there. It, it's it feels like a scalpel. It feels like a scalpel. <laughs> oh, it hurt, huh? It's like, <laughs> that part was brutal. I don't know. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll end on that note. But uh, yeah. Melissa, I, I appreciate you so much for for popping in and hanging out. Um, congrats on the song release. Uh, we we miss Jordan tons, oh, and thanks for sharing some some fun time stories with us. That was really cool of you. Yeah, no. Cheers to Jordan. You Cheers know to Jordan. Yeah, he... I'll do that. Please let us know here. when when you the know. when the next single think... is ready, and uh, we'll be sure to bump it for for sure. Yeah, no, we'll be in touch, and love you, Richie, them too. And obviously, thank you. I love driving. you too. Yeah. <laughs> Have a love fantastic hard. day. Thank, thank you for thank being you. part of it all. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Have fun, guys. See ya. All right, thank you. Good to see you. She was cool. Hi, what's up, sir? Welcome to the local band Smokeout.